In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Excel 2010 and its net present value function. Just as a little reminder, it's, it's certainly easy enough to use, um, but can be a little hard to find when you need it. So in this case, I've already set up my spreadsheet, and I'm looking at Project Alpha and Project Beta. I see that in Project Alpha, we're going to put out $700,000 uh, uh, right away this year. And then over time, the next five years, while this, let's say, new machine we install is going to be used, there's going to be some negative numbers, which are our maintenance costs. And there's also going to be some positive value, which is the revenue that this machine will bring into our organization. So I've already prepared a summary that calculates those and that gives us our net cash flow 225,000 the negative 5,000 so it's 220 so we're gonna focus on these values down here what we would like to do is calculate the net present value so I've already put a little place for us to load it if you type equals and NPV it'll bring up a, certainly a little reminder tells us what it is and that's what we want so I'll put my open paren and now it reminds me the formula is the rate which I put up here so I have a little placeholder for it. It's 15%. Oops, I want to make sure that I'm just on it. There we go. Comma, and now it wants to know what values need to be discounted at that 15%. And I'm going to highlight the values for year one through year five, not including year zero. Close my paren, and now I'm also going to add in the year zero turns out it's just an outflow of negative 700,000. The reason I keep that outside the paren is because I don't want to discount year zero because that's this year. I need to discount future years. So if I hit enter, we see that this project over its life, we expect that, that after five years that this machine will be gotten rid of or no longer usable, over its life is $31,201 of positive net present value brought into the company. Let's compare with Project Beta, just since we know how to do it now, do a real quick uh, formula, equals NPV. Open paren. Again, I'll take the rate. I want to make sure that's the same rate. I want to test both of these projects based on the same uh, potential, 15%. And then I'll highlight my values to be discounted, the net cash flows for each of the life years of this project. Put my close paren, and now also take into consideration year zero, which in this case is a negative $400,000. And looks like my uh, column isn't quite big enough. Let's see if that value, there we go. It's a negative $31,262. And of course, uh, based on a net present value type analysis, negative values indicate that over the life of project beta, it really doesn't bring any positive return to the company. It's actually a loser. Uh, Project Alpha on in con uh, conversely brings in a positive 31,000. So there's NPV. Go ahead and uh, give that a try.